హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు రాజ్ కుమార్ స్మార్ట్ కెమిస్ట్రీ టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ద స్ట్రక్చర్ ఆఫ్ పాస్పరస్ పెంటాక్లోరైడ్ అండ్ సల్ఫర్ హెక్సాఫ్లోరైడ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ కీన్లీ అబ్జర్వ్ మై లాస్ట్ వీడియోస్ హౌ టు ఎస్ ఆర్బిటల్ అండ్ పి ఆర్బిటల్ పార్టిసిపేటింగ్ ఇన్ హైబ్రడైజేషన్ ఇన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ I want to discuss how d orbital participating in hybridization one s orbital three p orbitals one d orbital combines to give combines to give s p 3d hybridization s p 3d hybridization what is the best example for sp 3d hybridization in sp 3d best example is phosphorus pentachloride phosphorus pentachloride how phosphorus pentachloride participating in sp 3d hybridization means i want to discuss complete structure of structure of phosphorus pentachloride structure of phosphorus pentachloride in this phosphorus pentachloride phosphorus atomic number is 15 and its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p3 3p3 and after 3p 3d is the 3d is zero there is no electrons 3d phosphorus ground state electronic configuration what is ground state ground state how electrons are in ground state means 3s number of electrons are 2 and in 3p number of electrons are 3 each orbital give 1 1 electron according to hund's principle now 3d 5 subcells are there here 1 2 3 4 5 3d 0 i want to write phosphorus excited state electronic configuration excited state uh, electronic configuration in excited state excited state so one electron 3s electron which is promoted to in 3d orbital 3d orbital 3d orbital means here 3d orbital 1s orbital and 3p orbitals and 1d orbital combines to give equal energy and equal shape 5sp 3d hybrid orbitals which is forming 5sp 3d hybrid orbitals so 5 these sp 3d hybrid orbitals so unlike atomic orbital which are participating in chemical reaction very frequently so chlorine chlorine means 17 electron atomic number chlorine electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 3s2 3p5 in this 3s2 electrons are there in 3p5 each orbital give 1 1 electron then pairing will start now this is px orbital this is py orbital this is pz orbital electron these pz orbital electrons participating in chemical bonding participating overlapping with the phosphorus excited state phi unpaired electrons phi unpaired electron how they are overlapping now here one chlorine is overlapping here one more chlorine is overlapping here one more chlorine here one more chlorine here one more chlorine total five chlorines are overlapping in overlapping in phosphorus excited state sp3d orbital unpaired electrons which form sp3d hybridization sp3d hybridization what is the shape how these chlorines are occupied so three chlorines are occupied in corner now 
now here above one chlorine and below one chlorine these three chlorines are which are forming five sigma bonds five phosphorus chlorine sigma bonds three chlorines are in equatorial position this position is known as equatorial position this above one chlorine and below one two chlorines are known as axial position axial position so equatorial axial chlorine these two chlorines are axial po po position axial position these two chlorines are more repulsive more repulsion more repulsion compared to these three chlorines so that's why uh, that's why phosphorus pentachloride is more reactive more reactive now the, here this is a triangular shape and above one chlorine below one chlorine the shape of the molecule is trigonal al bipyramidal here bond angle is this bond angle is this bond angle is 120 degrees and this bond angle is 90 degrees this bond angle is 90 degrees in phosphorus pentachloride three chlorines are in equatorial position and two chlorines are axial position that's why it's formed so two types of bonding it makes two types of bond angles one is 120 degrees another one is 90 degrees why phosphorus pentachloride is more reactive due to presence of axial axial position two chlorines are in axial position that's why phosphorus pentachloride is more reactive when phosphorus pentachloride which decomposes to give phosphorus trichloride plus cl2 phosphorus trichloride plus cl2 this is about hybridization bond angle and the shape of phosphorus penta chloride phosphorus penta chloride phosphorus penta chloride undergoes sp3 d hybridization with a zero lone pair there is no lone pair and uh, its uh, shape is trigonal bipyramidal and uh, its bond angle is 120 degrees and 90 degrees here two types of chlorines are there so three are in corner positions and two are in above and below and these above and below chlorines are known as axial position chlorines these three chlorines are known as equatorial position chlorines these two axial chlorine axial position chlorines are more repulsive so due to these chlorines so phosphorus is more reactive this is about phosphorus to discuss sp3d2 hybridization sp3d2 hybridization for sp3d2 hybridization best example is sulfur hexafluoride sulfur hexafluoride structure of sf6 sf6 in sp3d hybridization one s orbital three p orbitals two d orbitals combines to give sp3d2 hybridization equal energy same energy and same shape orbital 6 sp3d2 hybrid orbital sulfur hexafluoride undergoes sp3d2 hybrid orbital how sulfur hexafluoride undergoes sp3d hybrid orbital means so listen please sulfur atomic number is 16 its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3 S two, three S two, three P four, three P four again three D zero after three P three D orbital is three D orbital is zero. So ground state sulfur ground state electronic configuration. This is this is ground state electronic configuration. How many in three S three S two electrons are there in two P four electrons are there. So three P in three D. vacant orbital vacant orbital each orbital give one one electron then pairing start sulfur first excited state first excited state what is first excited state why we are writing first excited state because here six fluorines are there so these six fluorines are participating in single bond single bond sigma bond here only two unpaired electrons are there i want to write first excited state for sulfur in this one 3p orbital electron 3p orbital electron which is promoted to dxy orbital dxy orbital now 
again four unpaired electrons we want six unpaired electrons i want to write one more excited state second excited state second excited state in second excited state sulfur 3a electron which is promoted to dyz orbital dyz orbital these six unpaired electrons combines to give equal energy and same energy same shape 6 sp3 d2 orbital 6 sp3 d2 orbital these unpaired electron which are participating hybrid orbital electrons participating so chemical reaction very frequently now fluorine is atomic number is 9 its electronic conversion is 1s2 2s2 2p5 so 2s2 means how many electrons are there two electrons are there in 2p5 so each orbital give one one electron then pairing will start this is the pz px py pz this pz orbital electrons unpaired electron six fluorines pz orbital electrons which are overlapping with the, this sulfur excited state six electrons which form six single bonds six single bonds how means now this is second excited state of sulfur sp3 d2 hybrid orbital electrons now here one fluorine is forming here one fluorine 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 six fluorines are forming with a single bond now this is sulfur hexafluoride which is giving sulfur hexafluoride how these six fluorines are oriented around the sulfur means now four fluorines are occupied four corners and uh, one fluorine is above and one fluorine is below now this the shape is shape of the molecule is octahedral shape octahedral shape and uh, all are in equatorial position all are in same position all bonds are equal so all six fluorine six uh, six uh, sf sigma bonds are forming sf uh, sigma bonds are forming the bond angle is six bonds are forming the bond angle is so 90 degrees in this 90 degrees all are in equatorial position so all are all bonds are forming see 90 degrees so sf6 is less reactive compared to pcl5 and sf4 why sf6 is less reactive so all fluorines are all fluorines are so which are forming around the sulfur which are in equatorial position their bond angle is 90 degrees so here sulfur is less reactive than phosphorus pentachloride and sulfur tetrafluoride this is about structure of sp3 d2 zero lone pairs no lone pair so both the shape is octahedral shape octahedral shape bond angle is 90 degrees this is about the structure of phosphorus pentachloride and sulfur hexafluoride phosphorus pentachloride sp3d hybridization sulfur hexafluoride sp3d2 hybridization phosphorus pentachloride trigonal bipyramidal shape and sulfur hexafluoride octahedral shape okay please if you like my video like share comment and subscribe my channel thank you thank you thank you